Kelly's court is back in session on the docket today. Conservative radio talk show host Michael Savage in a brutal battle with an Islamic rights group. The Council on American Islamic Relations, or CARE, has targeted Savage, pushing for advertisers to boycott his radio show because of comments like this one. I'm not going to put my wife in a hijab, and I'm not going to put my daughter in a burqa, and I'm not getting on my all fours and praying in Mecca, and you can drop dead if you don't like it. You can shove it up your pipe. I don't want to hear any more about Islam. Well, Savage says using random clips from his radio show out of context and in an effort to ruin him is unlawful. So does he actually have a case? Let's ask our panel, Defense Attorney David Wall and Attorney Trish DeAngelis. Good morning. Good morning, Megan. Uh, okay, so he is saying, Kara is on an effort to get his show off the air, having bo advertisers boycott, boycott him, and some are actually doing it. He says that material is copyrighted, and uh, he may have some other claims down the pipe as well. What do you say, Trish? Does he actually have a claim? Yes, he does, Megan. Um, first and foremost, they did take what he said out of context. Um, they didn't get his permission to put such information out there on a website, but I really think that is a very minor point in the grand scheme of things. What they did, Megan, was they went out there and they said that this is what he said, and they went further and said that he's a Muslim hater. Now, if you watch Michael Savage, you know that that is absolutely, it couldn't be further from the truth, Megan. He is very supportive of freedom of religion, and oftentimes, indicates that he believes uh, Muslims and Islam are they have great family values and this organization went out there specifically to target him uh, get the PC police out and take him off the air because they didn't like one thing that he said but they need to look at it Megan in the grand scheme of things they went out there to specifically target him and harm him you know, and they didn't go call him up and say I don't like what you're saying and debate him on the air they went out there and intentionally tried to get sponsors pulled from him and it is harming him over one million dollars in sponsors have been pulled so far David what about it why, why is not the answer that Michael Savage gets to say what he wants to say, and then Kara gets to rip on him to the extent it wants to rip on him. You know, Megan, I took the few extra minutes we had because of the press conference to call my friend Dan Horowitz, who represents Michael Savage. Here's the distinction. Picketing a company, boycotting a product, those are legal actions. That's within Kara's freedom of speech. They can do that if they want. If it harms Michael Savage's business, oh well, too bad. But when they take copyrighted material and they take a snippet of it, and they take it out of context unlawfully, and they use that to interfere with Michael Savage's prospective business, then that is actionable. That is the basis of this lawsuit. And I think, care if they actually did that and took it without authorization, they're going to have a lot of problems. That's not covered by the free speech of uh, the First Amendment. So you guys are in agreement that if they hadn't used the radio clips, w l let me ask you, if they had not used the radio clips, would there be a lawsuit? Could Savage sue? Trish? Well... Megan, I think, I think he could sue because they are going out there and it's a tort. They are intentionally and maliciously, Megan, trying to interfere with his ability to earn a livelihood, to do his business out there. And the thing and that our viewers should know is that really this bad. organization CARE, I mean, David, correct me if I'm wrong, they sue just about anybody who says something derogatory about them that they perceive yeah, as yeah. derogatory. Well, they sue or they pick it, but remember, picketing... Uh, an organization or a business or boycotting a product is within their rights. I mean, that's within their free speech rights. If it hurts Michael Savage, I mean, it's the advertisers who pull out. The advertisers could tell Kara to go pound sand, but they choose, in pol it's political expediency, really. They don't want to be picketed. They don't want the negative attention drawn to their product, and that's why they decide to pull out. But, but, do they, the but Trish, should, should they want to be seen, should, should these advertisers want to be seen as caving to care, an organization that's very controversial? Some, so there are reports that it is linked directly to Hamas. Absolutely, Megan, and that's why it's so shocking to me that so many of these advertisers have pulled out. Um, other organizations, big companies in, this, in the United States have been approached, and I hope that their attorneys take a good look at CARE because it is linked to some really, uh, some really frightening things, Megan. Yeah, and it but is I, I disagree with David. I think there's a difference between going out and picketing and going so far as to write uh, these corporations directly and to put misrepresentations in a letter, and that's exactly what they were doing, using fear to harm Michael Savage. Understood. We've got to leave it at that because we are out of time. Trish DeAngelis and David 
Wall, thanks so much. Uh, one quick final word for our viewers. Care does sue just about anyone who says anything derogatory about it, refusing to acknowledge people's right to their own opinions about care. In case after case, those lawsuits have been dismissed. Given that, it is ironic for CARE here to be citing free speech rights to defend its attacks on Michael Savage. How the underlying case will turn out, we'll have to wait and see. All right.